Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have an Away Days TFA video today. Different location, but same TFA. Guys, I want to check in on the content that we had yesterday and the controversy surrounding it with the new Evo that was dropped, the good SBCs, but really that massive Evo that's expensive, but it is a pretty good upgrade and it's making prices go crazy in the market. So I want to dive into that today, but also look forward to maybe the best hero player pick that we have had coming today as a part of Sunday Ultimate Birthday content on FC24. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you have not now let's go to the objective tab because that's where we need to start with our review of the content on saturday yesterday because we had the birthday cup that was dropped and it's a good cup it's not an amazing cup but i think it's a good one it is actually not that many games to win it is 10 games you do get some really good rewards an 83 times 10 an 86 double and an 84 five guys this is a really good cup for the rewards for how many wins you have to get and it is one of those cups that gives xp and when you go and take a look at what you have to do how many or what type of games you have to play to get this cup going it's 10 matches a day so i think our expectations with that last cup that we had that was the max 87 squad or 86 squad or whatever it was that was really fun right it was unlimited games this one it feels like just a step down from that, but really good, right? You can't have anybody that's 89 rated or above, and it's 88 squad, and it's 10 matches a day. So you basically have 70 matches to play uh, to get your 10 wins. There's a one win every seven matches. That's cool. That's not quite unlimited, but it feels almost like it's unlimited, right? So I think this is a W. And 88 rated squad, that does mean you're going to be using some different players. So I have, I have no complaints about this. This is cool. Great rewards xp inside of here as well so we all of us need to at least try to play 10 um and then win two so we get the 83 5 the 84 double and the 1500 xp that you do get for playing those certain levels of the cup so i have no problems with that that is cool it's just going to be what gameplay do we grind during the week we've got that cup to grind we've got rivals with the insane rewards we got to grind some gameplay this week for sure with that coming out so i'm sure there's some lower rated cards like some 88s that are moving on the market i haven't taken a close look at a lot of that stuff but i'd have to imagine just like last time there were some of those 86 and 7 rated cards that went up a bunch i would have to imagine that some 88s are doing the same on the market some of those most meta 88 rated cards so i'll be watching out for that as well when you guys are trying to build those teams maybe if you have somebody in your club that's tradable you could sell that is inflated that might be a good time to go ahead and do that let's go to the sbcs where we had 84 times 5 that was released i absolutely love this sbc because it is so cheap I know you're turning in 11 players to get five back, but they're all 84 and above. The team of the week requirement here was expected. Every time we get to 84-5, we see a team of the week requirement. My question is, how much are team of the weeks? Okay, they were 26K yesterday with that SBC being three times repeatable. I'm going to say they're 33K. 33K. How much are they? Oh, they're not up that much. Okay, I mean, that's still up if they're like 30,000 coins. It looks like they're 28,000 coins. Wow, so they were definitely invested in a lot. I guess part of the reason why they may not have gone up so much is that they did drop down a lot from when they were required two weeks in a row with the 83 times 10s, um, and that probably brought their demand up even further. But um, yeah, I mean, that's still great. Informs are probably going to continue to rise because you have this SBC here and you don't have the, the Encore Icon. That's right. That was the week they went crazy high was the Encore Icon pack. But I, f I think if I had Informs, I would hold because I'm doing all three of these 84 times fives. And once my club starts to run out of those Informs, I'm probably going to at least think about either crafting the 83 plus pick or going to the market and maybe buying one or two. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be in that same boat. So that's the 84 five. I mean, there's no complaints about that. That is just a dub. We did have some player SBCs yesterday in the form of a showdown uh, for more of the E uh, sports matches, E divisi match with um, IX and Fizzin. Guys, I'm going to be completely honest. No offense to the Finn player who's representing um, Levy is wait, wait Levy and Finn. Oh no, Levy, PH Zinn, and Finn are representing Ajax and Colin Vince and Milan. Okay, guys, I'm definitely thinking that Ajax is going to win this because those players for our pros that I recognize. I guess it's 3v3. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty cheap SBC to do. Um, and if you do get to upgrade, this Carlos Forbes looks pretty cracked. I would have to say five star skills, technical plus. At least they're cheap. I do like that. Um, but I don't think they're cards that a ton of us are like 
just wanting to go and do right away but they're cheap beasts i guess you could say and also you never know when a card like this is going to be evolvable too. 87 rated even if they don't upgrade it might fit into an evo in the future so some place to stick your lower rated fodder there during the week this week with crafting and upgrade packs now the big foot birthday player sbc yesterday was the car chowi and man i mean this one the card looks insane five squads is promising as well but when i actually look at inside and i look at the requirements here i think it's just too much karchawi is a really really insane card her team of the year is one of the best left backs in the game and uh i think the playstyle pluses maybe could have been better like instead of the rapid plus could we have the whipped pass plus i think that might have made this card a little bit more intriguing to complete I mean, also the fact that we have so many left backs on this game, whether you want to do the skills or the weak foot car Chowie, I just feel like the price tag, which we're coming in here at 620,000 coins for, oh my goodness, which one's more expensive? Is the weak foot, the five star skill moves car Chowie is 100k more expensive. Yeah, if you're doing a car Chowie, I think you got to do the weak foot. I think you got to do the weak foot because then you have the ability to play her on the right side too, if you really wanted then you can maybe go about um, a right side, right back Karchawi, which I feel like more people in this game right now are looking for a right back compared to a left back. But even with the stat boost there, I think that six to 700K price range here is just a little too expensive. So that's just my take on the situation. I know some of you guys maybe want to get a Karchawi in your club. That is there to craft. But I think with the 84 times five out now, man, this Shuamini card, He's tempting me a little bit more than he was before with the higher rated fodder potentially able to come out of an 84 times five. And actually with that being said, let's head to the store and open up an 84 times five. I know EA did refresh and run some more big store packs yesterday just to head over here and look through these. Did they release the 750k pack? They did. The ultimate birthday icon guaranteed. And there's also the historical. Wow. They went full on with the uh, icons yesterday with the store packs um i heard there was people talking about yesterday a potential compensation with this 700k pack guys because it was giving out more than two ultimate birthday player cards from team number one i don't know if it's still doing that but there are people that were getting like three or four team one foot birthday cards from this pack that technically should not have been happening um it should have only been two ultimate birthday cards guaranteed um you could have packed more but the ones that were beyond two would have had to have been from team number two because those are like in packs right so i don't know if there's going to be compensation with that we do have the compensation of the yaya situation and the schneider situation still out there so maybe they will address this in the next couple of days if you did open that pack or if you're going to try it I guess there's potential for that. I just wanted to shout that out so that it is known. At first, I thought it wasn't compensation, but after seeing some of the packs that you guys were tweeting me and stuff, 100% a compensation situation because it was giving out more than two foot birthdays from Team 1. Now, we are getting ourselves here a Kavicha in this 84.5 and a foot birthday behind. Please be somebody good. I've not been on this game all day. Hit me with a banger. Rinders. Okay, that's uh, it's to the exchange is where we're going to take that Rinders card for sure. It's going to build me some more player picks. I'll take that though. Two 86 rated cards and then an 85 and an 84. I won't complain too much about that. That is decent. So that was all the SBC content yesterday. Now, we got to get to talking about this evolution, guys. We do. Because this is the big topic right now in this game. And it's making a lot of prices move. Because a lot of the cards that are the best quote unquote players to put in this brand new tricky ricardo evo are cards that are not actually in packs and they're out of packs and that's what's making them go up the most but before we get to that let's just talk about this for a second because this evo is only like 18 percent upvoted or maybe it was eight percent upvoted on footbin there's a lot of mixed opinions on this this to some people looks insane and i see that but on the other side of things as well 250,000 coins and no stat upgrade just kind of seems like what is the point of spending that many coins for this upgrade and i think there is a point but it's very specific guys this this is like a test from ea i really think this is kind of like if you compare it to an sbc i honestly think it's like ea putting out an icon pack or a player pick that is very tempting to do because it seems like oh my goodness this could be insane and it could be worth my money and i could get something insane out of this or you could get absolutely shafted and it's not good. It feels like a gamble in that sense. I know that it's not the same because you know what you're getting when you put a card into an evolution. So I understand that. But 250,000 coins is a steep price to pay 
for possibly a card that doesn't fit into your team. That's my biggest gripe with this. Now, let's talk about it, right? You have no rating overall maximum. You can put icons into this. You can actually put base icons into this, guys. Um, that's why maybe if you saw like Pushkas, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Pushkas price went crazy yesterday because he fits into this Evo and it becomes the most usable Pushkas ever. In that sense of the term, I think it is worth it, right? The five-star, five-star upgrade you get from this is mental. Let's talk positives. The five-star, five-star upgrade you get from this is mental, okay? This Politano with a five-star, five-star card is a crazy card like he's already good but you put him 5-5 five, five, and he kind of goes to a different level it just unlocks the playability of his striking with his right or his left foot and then you get the five star skill moves right and he's got the trickster regular play style so that helps him out too and then of course you get the dead ball plus as a part of this evo dead ball plus to me is useful but you got to be careful because you can't just put dead ball plus on any player and expect to get good free kicks. You still have to look at their free kick accuracy stat. That's one thing. If you're thinking about this Evo, you got to go look at that free kick accuracy stat because 89 with dead ball plus, that's pretty good, right? Um, but if you have somebody who's got like 50 or 60 that you're trying to put into this Evo, it's probably not worth it for you to do that, right? Um, 65 free kick accuracy for Pulisic. That play style plus for dead ball, I think it's it's just a mediocre one. But for this expensive of an Evo giving out five star, five star as well, I don't think EA could have made it a crazy play style plus. So those the positives for me are, of course, the five, five, right? And that can completely change how a card is going to play in game. I haven't used this Dina Tale all like all year because I've had so many greater cards. But now I look at this card, even without a stat upgrade, him going to five star, five star on the dead ball plus, he's got 86 free kick accuracy and he's got the finesse. It's a little bit tempting to me, right? So that sort of thing is a positive because it can create some really, really cool players. But uh, guys, I think the negatives outweigh the positives. And here's why. For 250,000 coins to spend on this Evo, that's a lot of coins. And I'm not just talking about some of you guys that are playing this game. I'm talking about a majority of the user base of people who are going to play this game, guys. Um, I'm talking about a majority of people who 250,000 coins is a large, large sum of their coin balance. And if you have 250,000 coins, am I going to sit here and tell you to do the icon pick that comes out and to put your coins into something untradeable like that, that yes, could go into your team right now. But with the power curve of ultimate birthday and how things have been moving, like if you're lucky enough to have one of the most meta players that goes into this already in your club, then maybe it's worth it for you and they'll be in your team for a while. But like, you know, that's a lot. Do you have, is it worth it to go pay 700,000 coins, which is, or 660 for this Salah, and then go pay another 250 on top of that to do the evolution for no stat upgrades for 90 pace, 89 shooting, 89 dribbling, a 900K for this card, not so worth it. Now, if you already have the card in your club and you're a Liverpool fan, yeah, you can make the argument because there's no other 5-5 five, five Salahs in the game, right? I just think that it, you got to be careful with your coins in this sort of situation as well. If you have something in your club already that's super cracked, like one of the icons, like Thierry Henry, Pushkas for sure, maybe that Rivaldo, um, a Betty Pele fits this, that's pretty cool. If you want to take him to 5-5, five, five, I think this just has to be an Evo that is somebody for you that is emotional. And you can't go out and spend a crazy amount of coins in this evolution because you know you just you want to if you have a lower budget so that's one thing i have to warn you guys about and again i don't like that there's no stat boost on the card it feels wrong at the same time we have an evolution you think about an evo an evo is taking somebody with lower stats and evolving them to a better different version with added playstyles and all that sort of thing right and here you're literally just adding the five five you are evolving them but it just it doesn't feel the same to look at the card you put in and get the same card out in terms of the stats so that's a gripe that i have against uh the evo as well so it's really it's a really a mixed situation and i'm landing on the side of this evo is not worth it for most people because spending 250,000 coins on this evo is not worth it for most people if that's not in if this if you have less than like i would say a million coins or 1.25 mil then i probably wouldn't do this unless you're going to trade your way to it right i'm going to do this one because there's a crazy evo combination that i think i can create with this that i want to try out um but for most i think it's one that you maybe try to trade up to or you stay away from but obviously you can see from the market 
prices are starting to go up because of this. This Muhammad Salah, the first inform, guys, this card is going to go extinct um, 100% because this is not a card that's getting supplied on the market anymore. Let's be completely honest. This is a team. This is his first inform. This is his first inform from very early on in the year. That's why I was watching this one here at 660 or even this one at 659. It's very possible this Salah goes extinct because it is the only five star, five star version of Salah you can create on this game. Yes, he has lower stats, but he's not in packs anymore. And all the people that are buying this Salah are buying it so that they can put it into the evolution. That's why I'm tempted to buy this one. I'm going to wait and see if I can get an undercut. Okay, I guess I can't because that one got bought. But like, I'm tempted to buy Salah because he's not getting supplied anymore, you know? And people can put that into the Evo, the people that want to go crazy and do that. That's why some of the prices are going up for those most elite tier meta cards. Same thing with Pushkas, right? A 5-5 Pushkas, that changes. That's that's a card that with 5-5, five five, even with only first touch and dead ball plus, the stats on the card alone make him meta enough to be usable right now in this game if you really want to spend that much on a Pushkas. But again, 700k plus 250 for the Evo, not worth it. Guys, I had to say this as well. I think this might be a hot take, but Evos that make prices rise on cards on the market do not necessarily make that a good Evo. I think that needs to be said because we've seen so many card prices move. That Salah, the Pushkas, the Henri, the Di Natale, this Griezmann, hit their base cards are up a lot for this Evo. The card prices of these are up so much for these players because these cards in the market are are rare. Think about it. Icons, these out-of-pack special cards like the Team of the Group Stage Griezmann that's up a bunch for these Evo. He's, he's rare, right? Um, and he's a card that is just not supplied anymore. He wasn't put it back in packs to anything or supplied in any other way except for when he was actually in packs their promo. So to me, seeing prices move on the market doesn't necessarily equal to this evolution being like a W Evo. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to make that point clear because some of you guys have been saying like, oh, Nate, with the prices move, then there's got to be demand, right? Well, you also have to factor in the rarity of the cards as well to be kind of considering why those prices are going up on the market. So overall, we just talked a long time about an evolution. There's 250,000 coins that probably a lot of you guys wrote off right away because you're like, nah, man, it ain't worth it. I think there are places where it's worth it if you have a lot of coins and if it's emotional for you, okay? Don't spend 250K on an Evo that isn't gonna create you a sick card that you were wanting to use. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be a card that you wanna use um, to put it into this. So that's the last that I'll say. It's it's cool content. I won't lie. It is cool content. I just think that the lack of the stat upgrades and the lack of the stat upgrades and the cost of it is just putting a lot of people off, which I 100% understand. Now, let's move on to bigger and better things like the prices of Foot Birthday Team 2 is absolutely tanking yesterday, which was expected, of course. Um, Foden from 1.8 to 1.3, Goretzka's down a bunch, Mudrik is 600k, Mane is down like 400,000 coins as well. Let's see who else. Whoa, Militao's 800k. Goodness me, that is a huge drop. Uh, Royce was 400k yesterday around content, now he's 270. What about the icons? How down are we on some of these? I saw Raul at 26. What is Raul? Raul is 1.9. Stoichkov is 6 million. It's still a bit high, I think. Um, a Billy dropped off like crazy. Uh, at least this version did. And then a lot of the rest of them are just kind of chilling. I mean, Perez is down a good amount too, but that's the normal. That's what you see on the Saturdays and even into Sundays today. I would expect to see these cards dropping a bit more just because they get supplied. EA is running more lightning rounds and you're seeing these cards move. Now I will say some of these will be decent to trade with uh, as we flip back over here to the main screen. Uh, just pick out the rare ones. Like last night, I traded with Mudrik and Mudrik made me some really good coins. But this Foden card is pretty rare. I can imagine that he moves at some point a little bit today on Sunday. Probably wouldn't be as crazy as the movements we saw yesterday for some of the cards on Saturday. But I think you will see some movement there. But I, overall, I think you will see them go down. There was not a mini release yesterday as well. There could be one today. So watch out for a mini release. Um, and I guess we're talking about market things. We already talked about team of the weeks. Let's talk about fodder overall. As expected, the top tier going up. Your 89s, your 90s and 91s are just slowly creeping up there as more and more people are doing Shulamani, doing the Ribery SBC, especially yesterday after the 84 times five came out. That to me, that unlocks the craftability of those higher rated squads. Like you saw, I got an 88 Rinders, right, from that pack. If I'm getting an 87 or an 88 in every single one of those, I mean, if I put even every other one into an exchange and then put 
those golds into player picks, I'm going to be able to go and craft these higher rated SBCs easier with that fodder. So I love the 84 times five for that for sure. Uh, but fodder for the most part is just kind of trickling up. But on the low tier, it's down because the 84 five was dropped and it's only an 82 rated squad. We're not going to see the movements on the 84s to 86s like we saw last week with the 8220 being out because that does not require near as much of a rating. And let's be honest, we're all getting 84 and 85 and 86 rated informs right now from 83 plus player picks anyway. We don't need anything other than like 80s and 81s and 82s to put in that 84.5. So it's very, very easy to get done. Um, I'm just hoping that the 81 plus or an 80 plus player pick comes back on Monday so that we can keep up the player pick grind for that. But that's kind of the fodder update right now. If you have the high tier, watch it rise, let it go. But everywhere else, it's going to really depend on more upgrade type packs or SBCs that we get to make fodder move. It might be a slow week for fodder, except for the top tier. Now let's look forward into today on Sunday, because we do have a couple more SBCs that are incoming that I do want to talk about. The first of which is our SBC we know about. Okay, that is the footies week two goodies. I just said footies. No, no, ultimate birthday. The pink cards, they confuse me for a second. Um, Haji is our SBC that is coming today. It's going to be an icon SBC. Um, I'm hoping he's 5'5". Five five. He's got to be. If they're going to give a Haji card an SBC today, he's got to be good. That's at least the hope, right? Um, Haji this year, I don't think has been an icon that's been used that much. He did have the Dynasties versions earlier on this year. I think he had two versions. Yeah, he had the 90 and the 89. I would love a 5.5 a Haji today. Give him like high low work rates or high medium and give him some good playstyle pluses and give him some extra playstyles as well. But this one I think would be cheaper. This should hopefully be like Makalele price or uh, below that to be completely honest. Hopefully like 700,000 coins for a maybe not super crazy, but still a pretty good Haji Icon SBC card. That should be dropping today. And then also today we have this leak for, you know, Icon SBC came out yesterday. I actually forgot to mention in the video yesterday that the Icon was going to refresh and it did one last time for the Icon player pick. That SBC goes away today, guys. That it goes away, right? 15 hours remaining from right now. The 88 plus goes away and we're going to get a Hero player pick, which according to this leak from Trading Romania, he says that it's going to be including the fantasy versions, which is kind of crazy, actually. Lucio, Company, Tevez, Schneider, and Yaya Toure, and Bon Pastor, Lisa Razu. Plenty of players will be packable from that. Of course, there should not be any base versions in this. They took base versions out with the last player pick, so I'm assuming that this time they wouldn't include the base versions either. And that that could bring some hype today. The menus 100%. It's just going to depend upon how expensive is the SBC. And if there is a specific rating requirement in this SBC, that is like if they say, you know, requires 185 or if it's an 86 rated squad, only one squad to get done, but it requires like an 88. You might see 88s go up, that sort of thing. It's got to be cheap-ish. It's probably going to be two or three squads. Let's be completely honest. But if it's two squads and it's low rated squads, you could see fodder move because these fantasy heroes being included in that player pick could take it to the next level and it'll actually make people want to go and do it because especially with the whole controversy of the Schneider and the Yaga Toure, these cards are on people's minds right now. Um, and if they're in those player picks... If it's cheap, there could be some fodder movement and that could actually create a little bit of panic on the market because that could be some really, really good content today on this game. Um, but yeah, one thing I will mention as well, we talk about the birthdays one last time. I think it was last last Sunday, a lot of these cards dropped off very, very substantial amounts, but the rare ones started to go up. It was last Sunday and Monday was kind of the low point. Basically after Monday, they started to go up. I remember buying the Sasha Bowie for 260,000 coins last week. I think it was Monday night. So we're entering probably one of the last days of these cards from Team 2 dropping down for right now, especially with not knowing what's coming after this promo and these cards being pretty meta, to be completely honest. Um, I think that there could be some opportunities to buy them later on in the week. We'll just have to keep a gauge on what we feel like the market is doing in terms of the demand and the supply of things and how well these cards are fluctuating on the market and how hype this team two is, even though I believe it's a little bit less hype than team one. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. But 
Today should be a decent day. Um, I, do we get an objective today? Objective pack for our daily play. I did the daily play. Today's day 12. We're getting an 84-4. So some more free fodder there to be crafting into SBCs. And then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to get rewards every single day. And then Wednesday, wow, it's going to be a big day for a lot of us being able to get the 8320 and this completionist objective done. And that's big fodder that we could put into some of those birthday SBCs if you are starting to craft. So interesting day of content yesterday, guys, for sure. The cup, everything going on with that, which a decent gameplay grind and the packs there for sure. There's so many places to get fodder on this game right now. If you're going to grind the menus, which I love, I love that. That is, that is phenomenal. EA is giving us opportunities to grind. I finished the daily play yesterday. So I've got the 85.5 and the 86.2. Let's end off the video. Oh my goodness. You haven't been seeing the screen. Let's end off the video with these two packs. We're going to get ourselves a Gundawan. It's not a fub birthday. Who's on the flip side? Let's see if Away Day's TFA has good pack luck. We already packed Rinders, which is decent. That's Griezmann, right? Cool. All right. Griezmann 88 and Gundawan. Okay. All right. No dupes there because we are just mudded for fodder right now. Let's open the 85.5 and call it a video, guys. Let's see what we can get here. And I will see you guys back in the normal setup for tomorrow's video. Nose pack. For the boys, hands off the controller. What? No foot birthday? Don't give me Gundawan again. Oh my. Okay, well, I guess we're starting some sort of SBC here. Because I'm getting Gundawan and Marquinhos. Don't pack him very often. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. Let me know in the comments what, ooh, and Kostic, what you think about that evolution. That's the biggest talking point from yesterday. I know a lot of you guys write off Evos. I totally understand that. They are a little bit of work. But let me know in the comments what you think about that Evo. And all the content going on in this game right now. Again, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have any other questions. And subscribe for new. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.